When the country is 15 years old, the Negev was almost empty. To bring a university to the Negev, it's, it's, it's such a dream of Ben Gurion. And Ben Gurion says, I want Oxford in the Negev. That was his dream. My Zionism has always uh, been deep to the land of Israel and the people of Israel um, as a rabbi in the United States. A and through the lens of Ben Gurion University and my connection with it uh, only deepens my commitment. Uh, to the Jewish people worldwide. I first fell in love with the university 15 years ago. I'm in Israel, I was born here. I live in the US now. And for me, it was like going back to my childhood. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody is for everybody. Everybody cares for the other. Ben Gurion has a special place in my heart, founding the future of the Negev. I've been involved with Ben Gurion for about 25 years now and it's been amazing to see how it develops. I truly believe that working together as a community we can achieve the remarkable and succeed in raising resources that will ensure that BGU continues to flourish and goes on to becoming a leading light around the world. We as Ben Gurionim we, as the disciples of David Ben-Gurion, embrace change. We embrace challenges, and we're not afraid to shift what is accepted. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech olam shechiyanu vekiyanu elman hazeh. Amen. L'chaim to everybody. Back in 1999, I fell in love with this university and with the area. And today, I am a patriot of Ben Gurion University, of the research in Ben Gurion University, of the community in the Negev. Every time I come here, I feel inspired. And every time I come to the university, I feel like a halus, um, like I was here at the beginning. I always said to people, I wish I had been alive when David Ben-Gurion was alive, but when I come down here, I kind of feel like his spirit is living with us. Three years has been a very long time. It's wonderful to be here with all of you in person. Certificate of Appreciation recognizing David Bereket in acknowledgement of your invaluable contributions and long service in the leadership of Ben-Gurion University of the Negev with great esteem for your loyal dedication to the university's success over more than three decades. The real superpower is together. The only reason that we've managed to do all this is that we do this as a team. Any university is only as good as its people, especially those who make up its academic community. And our goal is to ensure that the next generation of academics are just as good, if not better, than those who preceded them. This is the place where the future is being built. Sustainable development, science of water, and people are coming from around the world to hear about this at a time where this is, uh, I would say, one of the most important subjects uh, for humanity. You know, I have been involved with BGU at the early years of creation of the university. The university has changed completely, I mean, from a very small, tiny university to a big, worldwide, complex, scientific. A dream came true. That's exactly a dream which came true. Ben 
Ben-Gurion University is meaningful to me because it stands above politics. It's Israel's message to the world. And you come once and uh, you know that you want to come back and you know that uh, there is something very special about uh, Beersheba, Ben-Gurion University in Beersheba and in Zdeboker. Uh, and um, well, you have to come and, and see it and once you see it, you, 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 know, you know why. for Best Director. And the nominees are Matthew Mishori. Uh, I think it's one of those stories that as filmmakers we always try to find that are uh, so absolutely unbelievable that they can only be true. The winner is Ellen Marcus. What Israel has done, you know, dry desert with really struggling for water to, to a net exporter and uh, my parents thought and hoped that perhaps solving the Middle East's water crisis might help lead to peace in the Middle East. That I suggested to my parents that they make this huge bequest. I had no idea how it was going to transform my life. Today is just one of the highlights of my life. This is the gateway to the Negev. And I think this is one of the most important institutions in the entire country, and certainly the most important university. And for, for you generous people, um, you have vision, and I applaud you, and let's build this place, let's make it. We're here in, in the North Campus, which is going to double the size of the university. What other place can boast things like that? Was Ben-Gurion a visionary or a madman? That he could see then what the whole world knows now. That BGU was poised to lead the world from the desert. Our local problem is the world's problem. We know the science. We know that we can solve climate change if only one thing people would agree to do what needs to be done. We simply live in a world where effort is no longer enough. The school really needs to deliver because climate is only going one way now, and we want to be on the right side of history. What better quest could there be than to associate with this effort at this time? The Goldman Sonnenfeld School of Sustainability and Climate Change, and I say it now for the first time that I need to get used to that, and it's really an honor. This 
challenge is not only a danger, it is also a huge opportunity for all of us. Thank you for giving me and my family the opportunity to serve and fulfill our dreams and aspirations and our calling to help make a difference in this increasingly complex, challenging, frightening, and exciting world. Together we can make a difference we can all be proud of. Thank you very much. So for me, being in Stedoke is like a time capsule from very ancient times before we had even almost humans, then the history of humans, and then the history, the story of Ben Gurion and all the inspiration that he brought to many people. And I'm very inspired by what he's done and what the university is continuing to do. And the campus here in Slebukere is very special. Every time I come here, uh, there's something relaxed and laid back about it. It feels very true, connected to earth, connected to life, uh, very optimistic. The research that is being done here is amazing and important for the world. Together we will explore how and why companies collaborate with universities to develop new technologies. These people are getting PhDs for their life efforts. As we know, the Negev is uh, the majority of the, of the land area of Israel, and uh, this is the future. So. I came here, I, I, I fell in love with this university, and, uh, and, and I'm investing in the future. The ambitious to create something new from the scratch here in the desert and build something. The curiosity about things which you don't see yet. Data security was in 16 years ago, it was not a topic. And these people had the competence to build with software things which are today are in our daily life. are assembled at the Joya Claire Zonenfeld Auditorium for the conferment of honorary doctoral degrees as part of the 52nd Annual Board of Governors meeting. On behalf of all of us, just say how, how deeply honored we all are and how much we all look forward to, to watching the success of BGU in the future. How do we keep or just attenuate it, this aging? Now, kefir has many, many more microorganisms. I'm delighted and I'm truly honored to invite four outstanding uh, women. It was the hard decisions and the challenging decisions I made uh, at the different stages in my life and in my career. BGU for me is home, the place that I want to grow up, the place that I want my children to study in. It is home. The more I'm here, the more I feel how this is a hungry university in the sense that it's, it's passionate. It, want, it wants to change and it believes in its power. This is truly a national day. The work coming out of the archive and the institute must enlighten the world. We have so much to learn from David Ben-Gurion. This is a, a legacy gift for, is for the state of Israel, for the Jewish people. So we could share the most unusual moments that Israel went through before it became the state that we are today. To visit Ben-Gurion, and to live according to his legacy that it's so needed in Israel of 2022. In 
1953, when Ben-Gurion arrived in Stabokir, he was told that the Negev was uninhabitable and that nothing would grow there. Now, a mere 74 years later, look at this place, green and growing and leading the world in sustainability, water management, high-tech, agriculture, and cyber. As David Ben-Gurion, our modern-day prophet, said, it isn't enough to be up to date. You have to be up to tomorrow. I imagine Ben Gorian looking down at us with a glint in his eye and a smile on his face and perhaps even standing on his head saying, I told you so. Amarti lecha. The impossible is possible. The writings of Ben Gurion left a deep, impactful impression on Sydney and Max Mintzberg. They led them to take part in this important Zionist endeavor. The new archive building we see today has been realized thanks to the Mintzberg couple. 